Alright, it doesn't look like it. Wait, is that a chest? No, it's just a machine. Maybe there's a chest up here, though. Or maybe Sword Dancer is here. Oh, maybe. Didn't go up here yet. No, but there's treasure here. Still worth our time. Persian boots. These are in other Tales games. What do these do again? They just raise, like, defense or something? Maybe they're different. Yeah, they, they give you a lot of physical defense and agility. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of another item, or maybe that is what normally Persian boots do. And we got an hourglass, which could help for, like, a hard boss or something. So let's go... We gotta look for Sword Dancer 3. I don't exactly know where he is. They shouldn't be too hard to find him, hopefully. I mean, Isle of Ferris is pretty big and confusing. Oh, was that him? That's not him. I thought I saw swords. Oh, he's just here! I guess you have to leave, uh... You have to go in and leave. I am going to use my wing bottle, but I want to fight Sword Dancer first. And I think I will play as, uh, we'll try playing as Tear for this. Instead of Natalia, let's go with, uh, Luke, though, so we have more physical fighters. And I'm going to set Anis to not cast Negative Gate. Oh, dude, I turned off Final Fury, not Final Fury. Oh, wait, do you not have Bloody Howling yet? It's telling me you're going to learn Bloody Howling. Take off negative gate, because I don't want you to use that. He resists dark. Dude, can we not? Can we not? Goodbye. I also might pop out some orange gels. Especially on Luke. I have the sapphire ring. Uh, Anis, you can take... Take the protect ring, I guess, and then Luke can take the Persian boots. Honestly, I'm gonna give Guy the Sephira. Because, uh, I, I would assume Sephira works on bosses. I would like to get a lot of money from this. Welcome, those who would free me. Words are no longer needed between us. Let's battle. Defeat me with all your strength. Final sword dancer. Here we go. Oh, man, this one. I think I got a magic lens too. Yeah, I have a lot. That's tough. 86k. Part of me wants to try on hard, but I feel like hard he'd just be really bulky. Like all monsters are. Do I dare try? I have to try. I have to at least see how much he has on hard. Or, like, how long he's gonna take. Especially because I can just run if he has too much. It's not enough even if you don't fulfill me, whatever. I have to at least see. This is not good. There's no way we're losing. Oh, he's taking damage, actually. Alright, this might be doable, actually. I probably can't play as tier too much. Oh, she died still? Kind of hate that you did that. This might be doable. Yeah, we're actually doing decent damage. I was expecting Anis to do more, uh... More stuff. 
Okay, Anis is letting me down right now. I should probably, like, make her only cast. Probably what I should have done sooner. I didn't realize she was going to be this much of a physical fighter. We're going to be swapping a lot of characters here. Ikohan? Ikohan? Alright, good holy lance damage. Now... I should revive Anis. Anis, I want you to like... Spam Miracle Hammer. Or Limited. Limited works too. He's so slow. Hey Luke, throw me a pineapple gel before I start having you attack. That kills me even through guard. This is hard mode, so I'm not surprised. Alright, here, start getting people up. Dragon Tempest? you have oh we almost got him and this can you like cast no use phonic arts like I want you to cast girl get out of this animation I'm oh, nice little bully howling actually you don't resist it I thought you would I know this stat. You guys can't kill him. Actually, you could. I really don't care about Anis. That wasn't even that much XP. The gold was a lot more. Alright, hard mode for that wasn't too bad. So my time has come at last. Well done. My obsession ends here. I shall return to being a mere sword. I thank you. Yeah, you get to wield a really cool ultimatus. That sounds awesome. I'm gonna put that on Luke. Because it makes sense. Good stuff. All sword dancers defeated. I have three of these? I thought I had only one. Alright, use one. Where do I need to go? They didn't tell me where I had to go. Oh, we're going to a place called the Tower of Rem. We're going there right now. Where is it, though? Is it all the way up there? At the top? Is it right there? take you any closer i can't break through the planet storm's protective barrier wait does that mean we can't get near it as long as the planet storm is active there's nothing we can do let's head to grand kokma the military is keeping the hard data at their headquarters understood but what do we do if it really is van's replica land up there A huge thing floating in the sky is hard? Impossible. Even assuming it's a replica, given those claw-like anti-craft devices around it, it must have been created some time ago. Presumably they erected the defense system underwater, then used the Sephiroth to raise it. Sephiroth? 
But having those all lost their power to raise up the land? Sephira itself is a replica, too. Remember, this is a replica of Hod from before it collapsed. Wait, they replicate other areas, including the Sephiroth? Yes, Tyr, what you're thinking is exactly what will come to pass. What? What will happen? It would be difficult to explain. Let's wait until it actually comes about. Either way, there's nothing we can do about it right now. You think he's gonna come back? No, I doubt it. Oh? How can you know about that? The unusual phonons I had felt emanating from his weapon have disappeared. Alright. Over our battles with him, the fields of phonons generated by our attacks probably absorbed the phonons he was composed of. So the hatred surrounding that monster has been exercised. Are you talking about a uh, sword dancer? I was confused at first. But wait, if its hate was that strong, it may still be lying in wait nearby. Watching us with hatred as it awaits an opportunity to revive. Enough already. You're entitled to think that way if you like, but you certainly do enjoy ghost stories, don't you? Absolutely. I so delight in the mysteries of nature. Right, Luke? Luke? He appears to have fled in disgust. Alright. Let's go to Grand Kokma then. There technically are a few side quests we can do, but I honestly want to move on the story. Actually, there's a side quest in Grand Kokomo we can go do. We can do that right now while we're heading to the story objective. Actually, can we do it? I gotta see. I think there's something in Grand Kokomo. Should save. Nearing level 60. You there, you better run. You be caught in the explosion. The people are in trouble. Let's go to their aid. Wait, Natalia. Here she goes again. That's our heroic princess. This isn't the time for jokes. If we leave her to her own devices, there's no telling what she'll do. I agree. Let's follow her. Kassim. Colonel, he's... hang on. He's undergoing phonon separation. Don't tell me it's... Yeah, phonon... phonic sight. I'm sure. And he's on the verge of losing control of it. It's the same as Moe's. He could have at least done it somewhere where he wouldn't be bothered by anyone else. Where he wouldn't bother anyone else, rather. Is this the time to be making such comments? We have to help him. I don't care what Kasim does to himself, but I agree with avoiding civilian casualties. What should we do? We can eliminate him. It would be the simplest way. <laughs> yeah, just kill him. How can you say such a thing? We're gonna save him and the residents. Natalia's right, Jade. I don't want to kill anyone if we don't have to. Tyr, please stop Kasim's phonon instability using phonic hymns. During that time, I'll undo the phonic sight treatment. Roger. By the way, this was the side quest as, in case you couldn't tell already, we just got it by going to the story, which is so convenient. Colonel, my eyes. You attempted to in him implement the forbidden art of phonic sight using a smattering of knowledge. It requires careful preparation and expertise. It's your own fault you lost your vision. No. If this was going to happen, why didn't you try harder to stop me? I did stop you. It was only happenstance that you didn't die. Shut up. If only you'd really try to stop me. Oh my word, Luke. You're alive, aren't you? You should be grateful you aren't dead. Uh, honestly, he's got a point. Jade was just gonna kill you. Like, without even thinking about it. This man stole forbidden text from the Imperial Library. May I place him under arrest? Please. I'll take responsibility for him, so after you finish your interrogation, take him to the Curtis Manor. If the Colonel's gonna take him in personally, we can't interrogate him too roughly. The Colonel will hear you. Understood, sir? I'm surprised to see you show that sort of kindness, Jade. 
I'm just ashamed of my actions. This time, just like Xerius, if I hadn't wanted to avoid the trouble of giving a long explanation, the results might have been different. What happened to Xerius was my fault. I didn't say it wasn't. Right. I know that. Everyone really laid, in, laid into me after that. I didn't scold you because you destroyed Xerius. I scolded you for doing nothing but make excuses, showing no sign of wanting to improve or think. So, because Luke realized his responsibility after that, you learned to help people like you're doing now, right? Well, I think we spent enough time chatting here. Let's be on our way. Whoa, the colonel's embarrassed. That's a rare sight. Soft meaty. That side quest wouldn't come if you didn't do the first two parts, though, because that's a part. That's like a three-parter. That was the final part. Okay, that that art that tier gets that I mentioned, it's actually um, in the next. Uh, it's coming up. We didn't pass it yet, so we don't have to worry about it. We can worry about it later. But now we're just moving on the story, though. I really want to progress the story some. For the most part, we're probably just going to do story, like... Honestly, I'm trying to think. If there's no cutoffs... I mean, let me look at this really quick. If there's no cutoffs to be worried about, I honestly kind of just want to do story until we're at the final dungeon. Then side quest, and then we'd have to go through some of the final dungeon, unfortunately. Yeah... Okay, there is one with a cutoff. I'll just be aware of that. But for the most part... For the most part, these don't have cutoffs. So I kind of like, for the most part, just want to keep progressing. What's this one that enter the final dungeon? Okay. Yeah. That might be what I want to do. part that's what we're gonna do there's a few exceptions to quests that like are gonna have cutoffs but for the most part everything is like no cutoff so i kind of just want to like move on the story all the way we can and then do all of it probably is what i'm thinking which will probably lead to having a side quest stream on friday which means we might need two days to finish after this which is fine Honestly, as long as we finish next week, I don't really, like, care how long it takes. I'm doing all this content. As you can see, neatness is my- wait, where am I? I want to Grand Kokma, but, like, where in Grand Kokma? I thought the palace. We decided to head to Grand Kokma where Jace has the replica data from the original harvest stored. Oh, do I go to, like, Jade's office or something? Isn't Jade's office in Grand Kokma? Hello. The palace might not be where I need to be.
Colonel Curtis, I'm en route to His Majesty to report on the island floating above the Central Ocean. Have you found anything out about it yet? Chief of Staff Sussman has all the information. He's in the rear conference room. The rear conference room. Let's hurry. <laughs> <laughs>